Welcome to episode two of Fast A Summaries and things Jeremy says to do. Rob and I will be talking about lesson two. Rob, thanks for joining me on the episode. Yeah, happy to be here. I'll go ahead and summarize the lecture and then I'll let you take it from there. Lesson two is all about data cleaning and production. Quite literally, you create your own data set of teddy bears and grizzly bears by collecting images from the internet. You learn how to put that into production using some ready to go systems that are still a good option. So check out the fast website, course.fast.ai for that. And after that, we learn something from scratch, stochastic gradient descent. Don't worry if you don't know what that is. Go back, pause the lecture, you'll know all about it. That's a also starting point for some jargon. And I think Jeremy introduces a lot of jargon over the next few lectures in a good manner. So stochastic gradient descent is the first jargon, that, so to speak, that we learn in this lecture. I think that's, I, I've covered the lesson pretty much. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'll get into the advice Jeremy gives in lesson two. The most important point I really think he stresses is if you're stuck, keep going. Uh, there's just a ton of information being thrown at you in the first two lectures. And there's, again, that desire to really understand it, but you're not going to. That's just the reality of the situation. Yep, let's face so, it. <laughs> uh, he shared an image, and there's some great advice in there. Uh, focus on learning from experiments. Uh, it's like learning soccer as a kid. Uh, he makes a great analogy. Kids don't learn soccer by starting with theory. They don't think about uh, the friction of the ball as it comes off the grass or the spin that gets put on it. They just jump out there and start kicking it and start running. And eventually through that process – they improve that's top-down learning yeah um he says we'll gradually dig into the details um so we will get there and that's the structure of the course at least it was in 2019 is the first three or four you just jump in and start doing and five six and seven you really come back and look at okay let's demystify this and really try to understand it so it's okay you will get a chance to dig into the details later but now is not the time Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, do lesson two, even if you don't understand all of lesson one. And we covered that in the lesson one part. Yep. Uh, uh, more practical advice. If you're not sure which learning rate to use, uh, try both and see, try them out, see what happens. That's a really consistent piece of advice throughout the course. Is yeah. you not sure, just try it, see what happens. You takes five minutes. That's the ultimate truth for fast day and Kaggle. If, if you want to try a technique and you don't know how that'll work and no one does, just go ahead and try it and you'll have your intuition coming from there over, over a few experiments. Yeah, and then you, that builds your intuition. That's exactly right. Uh, when you put a model into production, you probably want to use CPU for inference, except at massive scale. Uh, we're so used to using GPUs and machine learning that uh, this kind of goes against people's intuitions, but it's a nice tip to know that if you are gonna put it out there, you don't need to spend this money on a GPU for inference. CPU is gonna be uh, good enough 95% of the time. Uh, another great piece of practical advice, most organizations spend too much time gathering data. They go for three months and they say, okay, we're going to grab all this stuff and uh, spend all this money and resources collecting data. But it's better to start with a small amount of data, try it out, try out your model and see what happens. And then if you need more data, and there are ways to look at your data that you'll learn in the course to tell you whether your problem is a lack of data then you can go through that three month expensive process. But so many times people do that and then their thing still doesn't work and they just wasted all this time, energy and money. Again, time uh, is the ultimate truth. If you don't know how much data do you need, try with what you have, then, then aim for better stuff, which is true to any lecture in past day, honestly. Yeah, and that can be a very valuable piece of advice if it saves you three months. It's, for sure. Um, lastly, if you think you're not a math person, check out Rachel's talk. There's no such thing as not a math person. Uh, it's really uh, mind blowing, kind of eye opening uh, from a culture that I come from where people identify as a math person or not a math person to say, this is not a thing that exists. It's not real, it's an illusion. Talks only six minutes. Uh, can't really think of a better way to spend six minutes. I've done computer science engineering and still I'm, I feel I'm not a math person. I, I highly recommend the talk, go ahead and check it out. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I think that's it for lesson two. Check out uh, episode three for 
all things listen to you thank you if you like the show please subscribe and tune in each week to chai time data science